So how does one teach place value? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And there are quite a few ways to teach place value, but what we're going to do in these next couple of minutes is to use a very common and easily relatable application to teach place value, and that is of money. Now, here's a couple of examples. The most common, of course, is that of the $1 bill. Now, the one, obviously, because a $1 bill is an easy way to teach the one's place. Now, you can extend that, of course, to a $10 bill or, if you have, a $100 bill. What that allows you to do is teach them, well, the first digit is the one's place. The second digit there is the tens place. And, of course, the third digit is going to be the hundreds place. Now, you can also use coins to express place values but going in the other direction. Take, for example, the quarter. Now, with a quarter, you can do one of two things. Use the fact that a quarter is 25 cents. Again, you could use that to teach place value. So you can let 5 be the 1's place or 2 be the 10's place. You can use coins to teach place value on, on a whole number perspective, or you can use the fact that a quarter is 25 cents in this perspective. Because a quarter is 25 cents, you can teach students that a quarter is 25% of a dollar, or 0.25. This will help you teach them the idea of smaller place values. So for example, you can teach, teach them that the first number after the decimal is the tenths place, and then for the five, the second decimal is the hundredths place. And you can repeat that for other coins of your choice, whether it be the dime, the nickel, or the penny. And that will help them get started on the whole idea of place value. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and here's an applicable way to teach place value.